Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com. I'm out here with Mike, otherwise known as Mr. Guns and Gear to most of you guys on YouTube. And he brought out some really cool stuff. We're out here at the Surefire, their Battle of the Bills, amazing events. But he brought out some, <laughs> he brought out some amazing stuff to just kind of punish me. To include the 460, that of course is my carry, as you guys saw there in my pocket, the Smith Wesson Performance Letter. So yeah, go ahead. Usually I'll shoot bullets like this out of big rifles, but today's gonna be a new experience. One I may or may not want to ever repeat. Super tight grip. Let's do this thing. <laughs> the power. The reason I'm holding on really tight is so the gun doesn't end up back there and then I have to get like dust out of it like 20 yards behind me. I'll be honest, I'm shooting the berm. I don't know if I could hit anything with this unless it was a bear like five feet away. May as well be signal flares. <sighs> Do I want to shoot it again? Not really. <laughs> kind of a one and done type thing. But I do appreciate the opportunity to ultimately try something new. This would definitely be my first choice if it was my only choice. Not gonna be my EDC. No, I, I really appreciate it. Between this 460 as well as bringing out Colt Python, things incredible. And this right here is pretty awesome. Ultimately, little piece of history right here. This Colt Python made in 1972, which is gonna feel so good after shooting that 460 <laughs> Smith & Wesson monster. Pretty cool, definitely grateful for the opportunity. This is not a gun you're gonna come across very often. And then, yeah, your AR as well. Yep, M16A1 clone-ish uh, rifle with a, that one there has a LMT uh, 203 on there, so it's a pretty sweet piece of kit. Pretty much felt like I was in the middle of Predator, <laughs> aside from being in like North Carolina. Right, and not super jacked. Yeah, there's that, <laughs> but it happens. will say, I kind of miss stuff like this. I ended up cutting my teeth on the M16A2 and there's something to be said for 20 inch ARs with legit full stocks on them. Pretty cool rifle. But ultimately though, really good time out here. Definitely appreciate the opportunity to run these guns and yeah, more than likely if you've subscribed to my channel, you have subscribed to his channel, but if for some reason there hasn't been yeah absolutely come check it out good stuff over there and as always thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com look forward to seeing you next time i don't even know how to hold this damn thing am i good uh the answer is tight yeah tight mm, get it I feel like I got Single no action's a hair trigger if you're gonna shoot it that Okay, way. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good.
this one. I'm ready. Are you ready? Shit. Shapers! <laughs> Gangsta! Alright, one handed. Oh my god! <laughs> Box. That's why I don't carry a revolver. <laughs> Not even doing the whole thing again. Um, Go back to my EDC. <laughs>